Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I thought I'd put together a quick video to show you some great tips that you can keep in mind if you're trying to apply bedding to your mood board designs. So if you wanted to show your client what this bedding looks like with this bed frame, and this is the best image that you could get, uh, where it's kind of cut off and you've got this throw blanket in the way, keep watching. I'm gonna show you how you can take bedding images and apply them to specific bed frames so that you can create a more cohesive look for your designs. Now, basically, I think what I'll do here is I'm going to pull this bed apart and I'll show you how I built it from scratch. So we're gonna move this and we're just going to recreate this look. So this is the bedding that I wanted to use. You can see here that if I want to be able to add it to this bed frame, I'm gonna to have to get a little creative about how I'm gonna do that because we've got this section that's cut off and the throw blanket. So basically what I did here is, I'm just gonna shift this image aside and I'll show you how I cut these out. I'm gonna take this one, this is the uh, final image that I ended up using, and if you're wondering how I did this, I went into the manual remove background tool and I used the tracing tool to just trace all the way around the bed sheet here. I came straight down the center here because I don't want this cutoff section or the blanket and then I just closed off my trace by basically tracing this portion of the duvet. I saved that image, and now that I have half of it, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go over to the toolbar, I'm gonna click on the duplicate tool to get the other half, I'll flip it using the transform tool here, and then I'm just gonna line these two up. And I can use the left, right, and up, down arrows on my keyboard if I just wanna get everything kind of perfectly aligned. And once I have those two pieces, now what I can do is I'm going to click on one piece, I'm gonna click, or I'm gonna hold down shift, I'll click on the other piece, and that will allow me to group them together so I can move them all at once. I can also scale them all at once by having the two pieces grouped together. So it gives you more flexibility instead of having to do each piece individually. If you wanna be able to line up your bedding so that it looks accurate for the actual bed frame, but you're having a hard time doing that because you can't see through the duvet to the bed, uh, you can use the image adjustment tool right here, bring your transparency down to maybe 30, 40%. And then what you wanna do here is you can see I've got this kind of curve here where the duvet is folded over. I just basically wanna line that up with the edge of the mattress and the bedding that's on the original bed here. So I'm gonna come down here and just try to line things up. Maybe I'll come up a little bit higher. I think that'll basically do it. Yeah, right about here. So I've got this basically aligned and then I'm gonna take my transparency, I'm gonna bring it all the way back up to 100%. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do here is, you can see I still uh, can see the footboard showing, but don't worry about that, we're gonna deal with that later. The next thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna add in my pillows. If you wanted to just add in different accent pillows, you could absolutely do that. If you wanted the same pillows from the actual image here, then what you can actually do is you can take the original image again and then you can trace around and just cut out the pillows and then you can layer those in. So here's what that looks like. I'll go back into the background removal tool. You can see that I used the manual one. I traced all the way around my pillows here and I don't necessarily need to follow the curvy edge of the duvet. I just need to cut clean across the bottom because I'm gonna tuck this pillow layer behind the duvet layer on my mood board design. So you can do your clean cut all the way around and then just cut it across the bottom. You're gonna save that image. And then I'm just gonna make sure this is sitting on top so you can see what this looks like first. Then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna layer this down and just kind of place it where we feel like it should be. And then once I have that, I don't want this clean cut showing right here. So I'm gonna take my pillow layer, I'll use the layer tools, I'm gonna to push this all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna bring it forward one layer so that it's in front of the headboard but it's now tucked behind my, uh, my duvet layer as well. So I have all these pillows look like they're nicely tucked behind. The last thing that I need to do here is I need to add the footboard which got covered by my duvet. So I'm gonna click on the original bed, I'm gonna duplicate that, and then when I have my duplicated bed, I'm gonna use the crop tool, and I'm just gonna bring this down, and I'm only gonna take the portion of the footboard that I need here. I don't need this top portion anymore, so we're just gonna take the footboard, and now we're gonna layer that on top to complete the look. 
and we'll just extend this out so it's the full size again and there you have it so we'll bring that up and now we've got our footboard we've got our duvet without this cutoff section without the blankets in the way um, and I was able to still incorporate the pillows as well I just tucked those behind my duvet layer so now now that I've got my bed I can basically click on the footboard I'm going to hold down shift I'm going to click on the bedding on the one side the bedding on the other side the pillows and the uh, headboard and now I can move this entire thing and scale it all at once and place it wherever I want within my mood board design so hopefully those tips helped you out as well if you are running into situations where you're trying to apply specific bedding to a bed frame just follow the tips in this video they should be very very helpful and keep in mind you can always group all of those layers together after you've added them so that you can scale it and move it all at once within your mood board design um, as always, let us know what you think. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out on the live chat. We're always happy to help.